Hello. These are objectives today. Um, we're going to run a little experiment, and I want you to establish a hypothesis, develop a procedure, find the variables, list materials, run the lab, and report the results. Before we get to the hypothesis, let's consider our procedure, and maybe you can come up with some questions. Like in this picture, you're going to be dripping water onto a penny. Notice what happens to the penny when you drip water onto it. How do you think we're going to do this? Are you going to do it fast or slow? Are you going to, how are you going to record the number of drops you can put on the penny? What else do you think you can do with this? Now, let's consider the hypothesis. What is an effective testable hypothesis you can come up with. Think about this experimental design and the scientific method as you complete the hypothesis section, variables including independent and dependent variables, and also uh, the procedure. You'll need to list the materials as well. This is the Physical Science Post and Butte Lab Reporting Form. We've seen one similar to this before, but it was for chemistry. Uh, but this is the one we're going to use from now on. Make sure that on this form you have the title, background info. This is mostly observations. That you can use to set up your problem or question, and then your hypothesis. For this lab, I'd like you to make a prediction for the hypothesis and come up with uh, a question based on that. On further down, I want you to come up with your independent variable. We won't have a control group, but you will have experimental groups and a dependent variable. And then control variables. Remember these things that are out of your control, so consider these out of control variables and then materials. I want you to list your materials. One, two, three, four. Always list your materials. On the back side of the reporting form, this is where you'll find a place to write the procedure. In the procedure, you need to detail each step. How are you going to do it? Okay. Make sure you number the steps. You didn't do that last time include how many times you're going to run it. At least five times are you going to use to start with dry pennies or wet pennies. All of this needs to go into your procedure. Qualitative data. Qualitative means how, what does it look like. And quantitative data, this has to do with numbers. On further down, I want you to include the analysis and the conclusion. Analysis, uh, describe and summarize uh, what happens in the experiment and in conclusion, how does it relate to the hypothesis. Make sure you list the materials on your assignment. So, the dish, which is part of a petri dish, just one half of a petri dish. A penny, which you're going to place in the dish. That's part of your procedure, so make sure you write that down. A pipette. This is a pipette. You squeeze it, and you can measure how much drops you're going to put onto the penny, how many drops, and a cup of water, and then a paper towel, which you can use to clean up or dry the penny, or whatever you decide. For your procedure, you need to make sure you number each step. Keep it organized. How are you going to do this? How are you going to set it up? You're going to put the penny in the petri dish. What are you going to do? How are you going to get the water out of the cup, into the pipette, and onto the penny? You need to decide. You're going to be working in teams of two. One person can record the data while the other one does the test. Alright, if you have questions, come find me.